Hello everyone. So let us uh, look into another form of classification of polymers and that is on the basis of the polymerization process. This was uh, first uh, uh, given by Caruthers in the year 1928 where he classified the polymers into two types that is condensation polymer and the addition polymers. Now condensation and addition basically are polymerization processes. Okay, they differ uh, so uh, they differ in the way they are uh, forming the polymer. So let us look into the uh, classification definition. So condensation polymer, when we uh, say it is basically, uh, if your polymer has the constitutional repeating units having less atom than the monomer, then those type of polymers would be classified under condensation polymers. And if suppose your constitutional repeating unit has a uh, same number of atoms as the monomer, then those would be classified under the addition polymers. So if you look at the example here, you have a bifunctional group. When it undergoes a polymerization, it forms polyester and with the removal of water. So obviously it's a condensation process. Now, if you look at the constitutional repeating unit here, ORCO, this is having a lesser number of atom compared to the monomer. So that's why this polymer, that is the polyester, is classified under the condensation polymer. However, in this particular example where we are talking about polyethylene, uh, if you look at the constitutional repeating unit, it has same number of atoms as that of the monomer. So that is why this type of polymers where your constitutional repeating unit has same number of atoms as that of the monomer, those would be classified under the addition uh, polymers or those would be classified under the addition polymerization. However, that classification is not very uh, uniform. Why? Because we have examples uh, where uh, actually we can synthesize a particular polymer via both the condensation polymerization as well as via a addition polymerization. For example, let me show you one example of polyamide. So when I polymerize the, uh, uh, form the polyamide, by a ring opening polymerization of uh, this particular cyclic amide. Okay, if I do the ring opening polymerization of the cyclic amide, it leads to my polyamide polymer like this. So this is my constitutional uh, repeating unit here. Okay, so this has same number of atoms as that of the uh, monomer being used. And if suppose I used uh, another type of uh, monomer, uh, which is something like this, NH2RCOOH, okay? And if I use this to make the polyamide, what happens? The constitutional repeating unit now has lesser number of atoms compared to the uh, starting monomer. So this particular polyamide can be synthesized via this route or via this route. So this route, if we take it is uh, like a addition polymerization or, uh, but if we take this particular route to make the polyamide, this would be a condensation polymerized. So there is an ambiguity in this particular classification. So that is why uh, the, the more uh, advanced classification has brought in newer term to classify the polymers on the basis of polymerization process. And that is what is shown in the next slide. So here, we have uh, basically introduced uh, new terms uh, to for the polymerization process. They are basically step reaction polymerization, or they are also called as step growth polymerization. Another uh, uh, word that is used is another classification uh, classification that is used is chain reaction or chain growth polymerization. Let's look into the definition. If we talk about a step reaction or a step growth polymerization, which is also often called as the condensation polymerization in some of the older textbooks. So you'll find that it is written, uh, if the polymer chain are built by, in a built up in a stepwise fashion by the random union of the monomers into uh, dimers, trimers, or higher species throughout the monomer matrix, then we say such type of uh, polymer that has formed by that polymerization, those would be classified under the step reaction or the step growth polymerization. However, if the polymer is formed by successive linking of the monomer 
to the end of a growing chain, then we say such type of uh, polymerization as the uh, chain reaction or chain growth polymerization. So let me just visually explain to you by schematic diagram. So suppose you have certain monomer units like this. Okay, we suppose have uh, some random uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven monomers like this. So in step growth, basically what is happening, there is a random union. Sometimes one and two union, then we have uh, a union happening. So it forms a trimer, this forms a dimer. And if suppose more monomers are there, they, these can randomly com combine to form a tetramer or pentamer or higher forms of that. So this kind of random union in a stepwise fashion, uh, such type of polymerization would be classified under the step reaction. However, in chain reaction, what happens is that we have the monomers here. But what happens is that one of the monomer is kind of activated. Okay, so after that, what happens? The monomer is kind of linked in a chain fashion. It's not a random combination. So one uh, monomer is activated, and you have the other monomers joining together to form a uh, successively one after the other. The monomers keep joining on this uh, activated monomer to form a growing chain. Okay, so when we have polymerization happening in this fashion, those would be classified under the chain reaction or chain growth polymerization. However, a random union of the monomer leading to dimers, trimers, and higher version of the polymer, those type of uh, polymerization processes would be classified under the step reaction or the step growth. Uh, polymerization. However, we have a lot of uh, um, ambiguity in this particular classification also, but uh, we are not going into the details of those things because uh, it's not concerned with your syllabus right now because these uh, classifications are further uh, showing some ambiguity because some of the reactions uh, which uh, are like a step growth polymerization, which are like a chain reaction polymerization, but involves some condensation process. So it is again some ambiguity in this classification, but most of the time you'll find that this particular classification works well. So we will uh, continue our study using uh, this particular classification and we don't go into further details of this particular uh, extension of these uh, classification. But if you would like to, uh, there is a book by Malcolm P. Stevens that uh, briefly talks about uh, some advanced classification as well that are used in terms of polymerization process. But for our point of view, uh, according to your syllabus, we have uh, to concentrate only on this broader uh, classification on, on the basis of polymerization, which is uh, more valid and still being used to a larger extent, okay? So let me just uh, show you some of the um, addition uh, polymerization. So here, so as you can see here, uh, we have uh, uh, the polyamide, polyester, polyurethane. Here we have two different monomers combining to give you the polymer. So it's like a, a kind of, a random union of the monomers to give you the polymer. So such type of uh, polymers or the polymerization process used to synthesize these polymers would be called as the step growth or the step reaction polymerization. However, if we look at the next slide here, you have ethylene. So ethylene, uh, you are having a kind of chain growth polymerization. So one of the ethylene monomer is activated so successively, the other monomers keep adding to uh, lengthen the chain of the polymer. So this kind of, uh, of alkene-based polymerization, these all cat are coming under the category of the chain growth polymerization. Okay. So just to um, talk about the uh, degree of polymerization of uh, these uh, particular uh, polymerization process. That is, we looked into the degree of polymerization in general. We talked that uh, the subscript that is used in the polymer, that is N, is usually uh, called as the degree of polymerization. But when we talk about the average degree of polymerization, it is nothing but equal to 
the initial number of molecule divided by the reacted number of molecules. So when we do that, we will get the uh, average, uh, average degree of polymerization. So uh, in the next video, I'll be talking about how uh, uh, we can calculate the deg average degree of polymerization for a chain growth process, uh, basically, uh, uh, for a step growth process, basically. And I would like you to do that for the um, chain growth polymerization. So that will be, I'll be doing in the next video. Thank you very much for your attention.